Alright, it's time for the mirror match. <laughs> so our game one matchups. Our game one decks are very much the same. My sideboards vary quite a bit though. Got a fairly decent start. I'd really like to find Annex at this point though. Now that's a really nice draw, but it'll be playing <laughs> into Bone Crusher on turn two. But I think we've got to go for it anyway. Now not attacking here means that he would have to sacrifice his dude if he wanted to get a light up the stage. So I'm not going to attack. Also his attack effectively does two where mine does one. Although I'm expecting the burn crusher on my steamkin or a shock. Shock would be great because it's not so mana efficient. Bone Crusher? Shock. Alright. I'm good with that. Now he's got to sacrifice his dude if he wants to get a, a light up the stage, which he might do if he needs the land. So at this point, we can see he's got something to play. So he's probably got a shock. And I don't want to lose my Rimrock Knight. Yeah, the only one drop here, the only one instant speed one thing he has is a shock or potentially hold the rush. So I'd rather have the body. But yeah, so we know he has shock, so that's useful for us. Sure. So he's left the one mana open for the shock. And we have no way to remove his steam can. There's the shock. Sure. I think we just drop Torbrum. Start going for damage. Gonna hope he doesn't have burn pressure. What we do next time?
it's a given plus two, so it's plus three, so it's six. So it'll be a trample over for five, seven, seven, and then eight. It should be lethal. Now he has no mana at this point. We equip our Rimrock Knight and we power him up. And then we hit through for our lethal. See, playing around that shock won us the game. Alright, now this match is fairly simple. We bring in those, bring in those, and those. My opponent is going to bring in Lava Coil and Frenzy. Potentially Tybalt, I'm not so worried about Tybalt. He's only got three Frenzies. <laughs> the Steamkins are taken out because he has lots of removal. We'll take out Scorch better as well. Same reason. We're trying to go one for one and then just one up him in removal. We also don't have a huge need for Torbran in this one. In the mirror. Especially since it's going to be line up nicely into his lava coil, so we're not going to give him that. We're going to take up one light up because we don't have that many activators for it anymore. I'm quite happy with that. No, this is a godly hand, but we can't keep it because we need to hit the four mana, and I can't rely on that to get me there. Even if we were to draw a land, I mean, if we were to draw a land, we'd get it, but we can't. Too greedy. <laughs> <sighs> One, two, three, four. God damn. I mean, is it bad to play in the greedy? I've got, I've got to find a way to win, on the, on the draw. I'll try it. <laughs> There's our land. That's lucky. I shouldn't have kept it. That's naughty of me. He's got a shock in hand. It's good information to know. Means we won't be using our Rimrock Knight until we can make sure that it doesn't get killed. If he does shock this, I'm just gonna play the Rimrock hard cast the Rimrock Knight turn two. That's fine. I'm gonna stomp that. Oh, we got we got lucky. <laughs> no punish on this one. But if you don't risk it, you don't bisc you don't get it, eh? <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Don't have Dragonfire in hand at the moment. But that's fine because I'm going to go for the Rumor of Night value here. Or I'll light up. I mean, light up's actually not so good because I want to play Frenzy next turn. Actually, Annex is good. I'd like it if you didn't block, to be honest. That's fine. Cool. Um, I'm going to leave that to play after we've played the 
experimental frenzy. I'm gonna play Annex now. If he lava coils it, that's his whole turn. I'm okay with that. He only has three frenzies, I've got four. So I'm hoping. Yeah, okay, that's fine. I'm hoping to ride that. I mean, it is slightly problematic that we haven't got Dragonfire yet. Maybe next turn is a light up turn. Oh, he's got the shock stall. Okay, it's done. There we go. Cool. We might just play Frenzy here. Is the castle out? Frenzy is not a bad option at all. I think we got. Yeah, let's go for it. We're looking for Scorching Dragonfire at this point. My opponent has a very strong board with that. He's going to play Bone Crusher into that. It's all up to the heart of the cards from this point. Yeah, you see now I don't have Lava Coil. I think that's game for him. Well played. Well played, good sir. I don't, uh, the Bone Crusher would not have made any difference. We needed to find a Scorching Dragonfire and he got his Lava Coil. That's okay. Let's go game three. We shouldn't have kept that hand anyway. I'm happy, almost happy that I got lo uh, that that we lost that one. Play. It's a decent hand, some removal, and a frenzy. We don't have early drops though, but we can get rid of his. No dragon fire though. Just go annex into frenzy. See what happens. He doesn't play scorching dragonfire. I'm not scared of that coming into this play. But if he plays it on turn three, that's his whole turn. It's fine with me. If you hard cast a bone crusher giant, that could be painful. I mean, you could just play an annex himself, which is fine.
we would like to find an ember cleave uh, and stomp yeah gives them a burn crash on the next turn but this gives me something to play which is nice so now do we light up or experimental frenzy I would like to light up and then we frenzy next turn see what we can get Burn. It sucks. I'd cast a burn crusher giant. Two bolt, sure. I'm gonna shock it so that you can only get one dude. So now we threaten the Ember Cleave on this turn. So if he has removal, he has to play it. If he doesn't play removal, then we know that we do he doesn't have... Okay, so he doesn't have removal. Oh, that's really nice. I'm just gonna trade one for one at this point. I don't mind him getting that. three cards in hand. I don't mind him going for the mana. I don't want him to ember cleave on the bone crusher. Not what we want to see. That's decent. Gonna attack in, activate our light at the stage if we can. Just land. Okay. Okay. Now we're in dangerous territory.
it's not great for us. Gonna hit for four. Okay. Now we're gonna try dig. There's a shock. We're gonna shock the. So options here, we can shock Torbrand, hopefully find another source of two damage. Which we've got Bone Crusher. We've got quite a few. So we're gonna try dig for it. So we're gonna try shock that. That's not paying off. That's not what we wanted to see. That is what we wanted to see. Now he's going to make another guy. Doesn't matter whether I attack or not. So we're not going to attack. Alright, we're both in top deck. We're both in similar situations. He has a slightly better board. I have more lands. I can't recall if he's played a land this turn. I think he would play it if he had it immediately. And he's deciding whether he wants to attack. That's not good. That is good. That's not good. We can play another frenzy after we've played that. So we can destroy our thing and bone crusher. That is an option. At this point. So let's not attack. a nice top deck. I actually don't want to give it to him. I don't want him to have the body. I'm going to destroy this and burn crash him and go. Because I can't see a way of dealing with the 4-3. Question here is if we bone crusher. <laughs> and then frenzy. And if so, it was probably better. If he has Ember Cleave, he wins, right? 5, 10, 20 damage. He has to remove this. So 
So I think we just play ember cleave onto this. Here's lava coil though. He's in top deck. I'm willing to play this ember cleave at f as flash, so I'm gonna end my turn here. It's one land. Let's see if he breaks. I need him to break, I think. If he goes on a roll, use all his mana, I'll definitely have no chance. So he doesn't have instant speed removal. He'd need two things in a row. He's going to attack with this. It could be Ember Cleave, in which case they trade, and I'm happy with that. So I'm going to block an Ember Cleave on my own go. See if he plays Ember Cleave. Yeah, it's fine. Take one, that's okay. Now I'm not going to play a land because I want to... So we've got 8, 9 mana. I could pump his guy and then potentially play it after. I think we'll do that. So I think I'm going to pump his guy. Then play this. Okay, cool. We found stuff to play. So we went one mana down, but we ensured that if we did hit another land or two lands, we'd have something to play. It's fine. So we've got a lot of things you can hit here. has been a good game. I feel like I did play correctly. There was the one turn where we we delayed our experimental frenzy to do the light up the stage, but I couldn't have known that I was going to hit three lands in a row. So I don't feel like that was incorrect. Let's see, it's not over yet. I block here. Can you ever do 12 damage? I don't feel like you can. I'm not going to block. No blocks. 11 damage with 7 mana. Sure. Lava coil. Light up. All right. Another light up. Got no lands left. Needed to hit lava coil to stay alive. Even then, we got castle double strike. Good game. Well played. Close game.